Good evening, America. Tonight we present a full hour of Family Guy, beginning with a very special extended episode, followed by some never-before-seen musical clips. That's right. So without further ado, here's a little episode entitled Stewie and Brian. Well, actually, it's called Brian and Stewie. Really? Shouldn't it be person before animal like Turner and Hooch? I don't think that movie is a good example of anything. Besides, it's alphabetical. You asked to have your name first, didn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, here's Brian and Stewie. Pathetic. We hope you enjoyed our very special episode. And for the rest of the hour, we'd like to treat you to some of your favorite Family Guy musical moments. That's right. Some you may know, and others you've never seen before. Like this first one. A few years back, Lois had a visit from her long-lost brother, Patrick. He had an irrational hatred of fat people and began strangling them. Though several of these hefty men were killed, Peter and his friends from the National Association for the Advancement of Fat People never got to mourn for any of the victims. Until now. One thing we like to do at Family Guy is make fun of pop culture by twisting it and mocking it and commenting on it. Yeah, and sometimes we just steal stuff and put our characters in it. Here's a scene inspired by, copied from, a Jerry Lewis film entitled The Errand Boy that was created for the episode where Peter takes over Pewter Schmidt Industries. Several years back, Brian made friends with an elderly woman who had been homebound for years, and he attempted to bring her out of her shell. Ah, oh, yes, Pearl. She was a nice woman, so vibrant, full of life. We became close friends, and I sang this song to explain to her all the wonderful things that she was missing by shutting herself off from society. And by the song's end, she felt the courage to venture out. And did she get to see all those things you sang about? No, she immediately got hit by a truck and died. Ah, well then, I'm sure she's glad she met you. Here's the musical number that ended that poor woman's life. Cohog is a wonderful example of suburban America, full of neighbors who look out for each other and enjoy spending time together, like a big family. Up next, we find Peter and Lois in need of a babysitter, and their kind elderly neighbor Herbert offers to help out. It's a musical number that will warm the cockles of your heart. Yeah, check it out. Herbert's got a raging cockle in this one. And now we have a super special treat, a never-before-aired clip that may be the greatest thing we've ever done. Featuring the last known recording of Michael Jackson, here is... Stewie, that number's been cut. What? No way, but it had the Toy Story 3 sneak peek. Sorry, legal said no to all of it. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, what else we got? Shapoopy. Seriously? Again? <sighs> Fine, here's <laughs> Shapoopy. You know, when it comes to road show episodes, you and I do most of the traveling. True. But when Peter found out that his father wasn't Francis, the man who raised him, but instead a man in Ireland, Peter decided to visit. And did we explore the effects of the difficult political and agricultural dynamics that have rent Ireland for centuries? No, we just made him a country of drunken redheads. Ah, groundbreaking. Do you remember when Peter got his own TV station? Yeah, and the FCC censored him. We all sang a song about how they take the best parts out of everything. I know, and the worst part is that after the song aired, we heard the FCC people liked it. They liked the parody of them. Doesn't that just suck? I mean, like, you know, like, when, when, when you make fun of someone and then they laugh, it's like, no, man, no, you don't get it, the joke is on you. And then they're supposed to be like, oh, you got me, oh, now I gotta think about myself. And you're like, yeah, yeah, you do, take that, and stay out of our playground. But those FCC bozos like the song. I, I don't know, it just, it ruins it for me. Anyway, let's take a look. Actually, because of your little rant, we don't have time for that song. Really? So what, that means the show's over? Yep. Oh. Okay, good night.